Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Hannes J. Nowak. So for today's episode, I would like to very much continue onwards with the series itself, because I've got lots of new ideas that I managed to take up on. I've spent a lot of time pre-recording a bunch of episodes, and well, there's definitely been a lot of episodes with me in some of the same clothing, but once again... I do pre-record a lot of episodes in them so I can span over at least a week or two of them. Just so I won't have to, wow, uh, continuously interrupt my normal routine with having to record more episodes. So, of course, let me just go on ahead and pre-record some more with this sort of get-up. These shorts as well. So why don't I go ahead and get started by talking about rare species of animals. Yep, yeah. rare species of animals. If you're not familiar with some species of animals that are indeed rare or becoming extinct, including the giant salamander, the white-rumped vulture, the rhinoceros, believe it or not, and quite a few other different types of animals out there. There's certainly a lot of rare species out there, especially some that have been around for a very long time. And the main reason why some of them cannot really get by very well is primarily because of three different factors. Climate change, lack of food, and some droughting. Because, of course, if you're not familiar with the California drought, it's still an ongoing catastrophe in a way. Even though California is bound to get some rain back at some point, climate change, for one, happens to really impact a lot of the ecosystem itself. And of course, if you're not familiar with the paradox of global warming, then well, just imagine how some arctic animals like the polar bear, walrus, arctic fox, sea lion, and many other species of animals, they would never be able to survive especially with extreme amounts of flood. And there are tons of animals out there that can hardly even swim, let alone have entire floodwaters rain on upon Earth. But enough about that. Pandemics, of course, are another big thing to look out for, especially since NCOV has already taken more than 275,000 human lives. It's quite clear that other species out there probably may not be able to get by because of all this and I'm pretty sure that for a fact that at the same time that hunting has also become responsible for a lot of well critical endangerment of most animal species out there especially in places like here in America or Canada or China or some parts of Africa well there are certainly a lot of other contributing factors to it but it's pretty just overwhelming in a way I'm pretty much just not satisfied about any of the stuff that's going on and well. It still is great to know that these animals had a special place on our planet's ecosystem itself and for the animal kingdom as well. Zoology can be quite a big mystery, but at the same time, what other surprises and discoveries can you possibly make? I guess we won't really be able to tell for sure. But one thing's for sure though, here on Hannes J. Nowak, there's going to be tons of other new episodes coming soon. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.